And it's been a hard two days. Dude, what are you talking about? All Toronto teams have been doing fine. Yeah, but the Raptors just lost in the first game against the Celtics, and then they Blue Jays dropped one in the 11th. Are you kidding? You're just going to bring up that. The Blue Jays went on a five-game win streak. TFC won both their games so far. The Raptors so far swept the Brooklyn Nets. I mean, what else do you want? What else do you want? They lose a couple games, and you're already losing hope. Wow. When you say it that time, I mean, it makes me look stupid. Toronto teams are doing great. Yes, they are, second Nick. What is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Carcel. Welcome back to another video. The Blue Jays win against the Baltimore Orioles in a four-game series, 3-1. to one. Now, before I start, I'd just like to come clean and explain why I didn't make a video for the Boston Red Sox series. Point number one, the Blue Jays did not finish their two their three-game series Sorry, against the Boston Red Sox. They only played two games and postponed the third game from the MLB due to the shooting and the police brutality of Jacob Blake. And I kind of just wanted to let that game be played first. Also, it was also a moment of silence for me on the channel. Uh, you know, just to show that I am with the community. I am with the NBA, the NHL, the MLB, and all sports when they did postpone. And I fully agreed that what is going on in the U.S. with the police brutality, even in Canada with police brutality, is absolutely disgusting to me. And that's all I have to say. So that's one of the reasons I postponed the series. But I will finish the series against the Red Sox in time. So the Blue Jays won the first game against the Baltimore Orioles 5-4 in the final of the 10th in a pretty well contested game against Baltimore Orioles. Bottom of the fourth, Guerrero Jr. homers to right on the first pitch. And that one is gone. one nothing for your Toronto Blue Jays. But Teoscar Hernandez homers to center straight down Broadway. And the Blue Jays up with two, with two in the bottom of the fourth. The Blue Jays looking good. Top of the sixth with the bases loaded. The Baltimore Orioles would have a single from Mount Castle. And that would drive in the runner Alberto. The rest would move up and the Baltimore Orioles knock it down a two to one. But the third baseman, Travis Shaw would have a throwing error. Iglesias would score on that error and the Baltimore Orioles tie it back up two to two. Bottom of the six on a wild pitch. Guerrero Jr. was on third, 90 feet away from home. And he would go in and score on the wild pitch. 3-2 for the Toronto Blue Jays. At the top of the eighth, Nunez would homer to left on a full count, and this would bring a lot of Blue Jays fans down. Alberto would single to center, and Ruiz would score in the top of the tenth. So Baltimore Orioles have the lead here in the top of the tenth. Can the Blue Jays do it? Bottom of the tenth, Grichik homers to center on an 0-1 count. That would drive in McGuire and Grichik himself to win the Blue Jays the game 5-4 in the final of the tenth. Rafael Dolis would win this game. He only pitched an inning, but he technically got the save on the night after pitching in the ninth inning and the 10th inning. And Cole Susler will get the loss after letting that walk off to Randall Gritchick. Big game for the Toronto Blue Jays. 1-0 in the series. The Blue Jays shocked the Baltimore Orioles in the second game, winning 5 to nothing. A huge game at their new home, Silent Field. Bottom of the first, Guerrero Jr. singles to left. Rowdy Tellez getting rowdy. Home he goes. And Teoscar Hernandez would score in the play two. Two runs driven in by Guerrero Jr. His hit streak continues to 10 games from this point on. The new acquired the new acquired player from the Toronto Blue Jays, Fisher, would ground out on a fielder's choice. Alberta would pick up this ball and throw it to the shortstop, Iglesias. But Guerrero Jr. would score. They did record an out on the play. But Guerrero Jr. tucked one in and got the Blue Jays up 3 to nothing in the bottom of the fourth. And then the final run would come from Biggio, who singles to left. Fisher scores, and Panic scores on the play. 5-0. Why did I do 10? 5-0 for your Toronto Blue Jays. And that would be all she wrote. Anyone wondering, Alex Cobb got the last that, lost that game. It would be his third loss of the season. He pitched four innings. Of course, he's one of the starters of the Baltimore rotation. He has one lot. He has one win on the season, though. Yesterday... The Toronto Raptors lose to the Boston Celtics, but that one stopped the Blue Jays from winning 6-5 against the Baltimore Orioles, where a huge game 
would be at stakes for the Blue Jays. Top of the second, Mount Castle coming big again for the Baltimore Orioles, homering to left on a 2-2 two two count. That solo shot makes it 1-0 for the Baltimore Orioles. Guerrero Jr. in the bottom of the fourth. Singles to center, Gritchick scores. Shaw moves up as he's already on second. He goes to third, and the Blue Jays tie it back up in the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fifth, Biggio would single to right, and this would cause Guerrero Jr. to score. Joe Panic will move up to third, and the Blue Jays now have the 2-1 lead in the third game of the series. Not so fast, said Randall Gritchick as he hits a sacrifice fly to right field. This would score Panic, and automatically the Blue Jays looking good. Up 3-1 to one here against the Orioles. Top of the six, the Baltimore Orioles start to break down the Blue Jays. Seravino singles to left. Nunez would score, but that wouldn't finish the play. Mountcastle, homers to left in a 1-1 count, and both of them score. This is now a 4-3 lead for the Baltimore Orioles. Watch out, Blue Jays. Bottom of the eighth, Rowdy Tellez getting Rowdy to right field. Doesn't go over the wall, but it does drive in Hernandez, and Guerrero Jr. moves up to third. This Blue Jays team ties it up 4-4. Once again, the Baltimore Orioles scare the Toronto Blue Jays. Iglesias hits an infield single to the shortstop. This would drive in Ruiz, and that would make it 5-4 for the Baltimore Orioles. The Blue Jays have to get one in the bottom of the ninth. Can they do it? Oh, and yes, they can. Teoscar Hernandez hits singles to left field. Espinal scores, and Gritchick sliding in. The tag's coming in. Misses the tag, and the Blue Jays win the game 6-5. to five. What a win for Toronto. Anthony Bass gets the win on this one. That's the second win of the season. And Cole Susler will get his fourth loss on the year. Yikes, two losses in the series already. Not looking good for this kid. And the Blue Jays' five-game win streak would come to an end. They Or, sorry, six-game win streak. I think it's even longer than that. Anyways, the Blue Jays' win streak comes to an end. They lose 4-3 against the Baltimore Orioles in the 11th inning. Tight game, honestly. Iglesias singles to right. Santander scores. This is in the top of the first. All the way, zoom into the bottom of the fifth. Biggio will be safe on a throwing error. And this would actually score Jansen and Panic. So, really good play by the Blue Jays to drive two runs in on that play. It's 2-1. Santande doubles to left field, Alberto scores, and it remains a 2-2 tie all the way to the top of the 11th, where Iglesias would double to left, Santande scores, that makes it 3-2, but that wouldn't end there, as Holiday doubles to right now, and Iglesias, the man who drew in the first run, he goes to score, 4-2 for the Baltimore Orioles. Thinking something's going to happen here, Toronto, Gurriel Jr., singles to center, Grichik scores, and now you got Gurriel Jr. on on first base after that single. A chance now for Rowdy Telez. Rowdy Telez hits a ball straight through the first baseline. This one is seeping through, caught by the right fielder. He'll throw it. Oh no, it doesn't make it to the cutoff man. So the cutoff man decides to throw it because he sees Guriel Jr. running home. Does he make it? No. The Blue Jays drop it as Guriel Jr. gets cut off at home. And that was the second out, turning into the third out. So the Jays would drop this one, 4-3. Anthony Bass, the man who gave up the two runs in the 11th, would lose. He's now 2-2 two two on the season. And Cesar Valdez with his first win as a Baltimore Oriole. Another thing to mention, the Blue Jays made a couple trades today. So, there was three other trades, but Tawan Walker was one of them, and it's a player to be determined. I didn't get to say this. This was during the Boston series. Robbie Ray and a cash deal from the Arizona Diamondbacks will be going for Travis Bergen, who is actually a rookie from the Buffalo Bison. From the Miami Marlins, Jonathan Villar is coming to Toronto for Griffin Connie, one of the bigger steals for the Blue Jays so far. He's actually leading the MLB in steals this season with nine so far recorded and only a 60-game season. That's pretty impressive. Doing a pretty good job, not in the batting totals, but for stealing, definitely need him. And a right-handed pitcher, relief pitcher, if so, maybe a starter if he really could for this Blue Jays lineup. Probably could use him as a starter. Ross Stripling is going to the Toronto Blue Jays from the Los Angeles Dodgers. And two players to be determined going back to the trade. Probably some minors. Maybe a guy on the bench from the Blue Jays. But we'll see. 
So a couple good pickups. You got a starting pitcher, possibly, or maybe a rotation guy. Uh, Jonathan Vilar, best stealer in the league right now and can still bat pretty, uh, pretty good. Daniel Vogelbach, who we talked about, didn't play well today, but he's a cautious pitcher, and that's really good to teach some of the younger kids. Uh, Tawan Walker pitched a great game, six innings. I mean, four strikeouts on his night, so he had an amazing game uh, two nights ago. Robbie Ray, kind of a gamble, so not really sure what's going to go on there, but we'll see. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more of these videos and share this video with your friends and family as it does help me out a lot. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy guys.